Ladies and gentlemen, monument of a memory in a building! Yeah, I'm doing better now, boys. How are you doing? <laughs> right. Chilling tonight, man. Decided to um, uh, join you in your local uh, 420 time. Oh, really? So you brought you brought some goodies? Um, I don't have goodies. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Hell yeah. I'll, I'll, road, I'll rip the bong with you here in a second. But gentlemen, for those that may not know who you guys are, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let us know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug anything that you'd like. Josh, do you want to go first? I am Josh Correa. I play in a band called Monument of a Memory. I reside in New Jersey, just like the rest of my guys. But right now I'm hanging out in the legendary Jersey Shore. What's up? Awesome. Oh, hi, uh, I'm Dylan. Uh, I sing in Monument of Memory. I also reside in northern New Jersey. Uh, you can follow me at Dylan Monument uh, or Dylan Newhouse on Facebook, at Dylan Monument on Twitter and Instagram and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Are you guys both originally from New Jersey or did yeah. anybody move there for oh, band Josh, reasons? You're not. Josh is originally from Brazil. Or he was born. Oh, no, I was actually born here. Claremont. Oh, you were born Bills, here. Baby. Yeah, you're right. That was your brother. <laughs> that was your brother. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get to travel back and forth to Brazil often though, Josh? Um, I haven't in a couple of years. Um, I, I really do want to go back. It, it's been way too long. Last time I was there, I was, I went there for Carnival and oh, hell that yeah. was like my late teens. Very cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, big metal, it, dude, it's, it, it's beach vibes and metal. There's a lot of that going on over dude, there. Dude, can't complain about that. Cannot right. complain about that whatsoever. Talk to me about Panic and Persuasion. What is this song about, uh, Dylan? Uh, the song is pretty much about like running away from your anxiety and stuff. But uh, we kind of we kind of didn't really use the lyrics uh, as a thought process when we were doing the music video. We were just like, "Yo, this feels like a song that you could do like we could do like a cool like uh, like Italian mob kind of like thing or whatever." So we were kind of like. We were kind of thinking of like those music videos where like the lyrics have nothing to do with the music video. Like it'll be like a super serious song, but then like they'll be doing something just absolutely stupid and completely not pertaining to the lyrics. So we were like, let's just do like some crazy like Goodfellas type of gang shit. And it came out pretty cool. Uh, we just for a heads up, it. your thumb is covering half your face. Oh, by the way. My bad. There we go. I didn't want to interrupt, um, but. No, you're good. You're good. Um, we worked with Ricky Armelino on the song. Uh, he's the guitar player in Ice Nine Kills. And the uh, song came out pretty cool. Uh, obviously, it was one of the singles. So, yeah. Hell yeah, we know Ricky really well. Uh, we talked to him in the past. I'm a big fan of, of Hawk, uh, his, his, I guess now, yeah, side I project. That, uh, I heard that new Hawk stuff. I just worked with him again over the summer, and he showed me a bunch of uh, their new stuff. And it's it's different. It's cool, though. Hell yeah. I'm excited to hear <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's it's. It's got like it's very vibey. Yeah. It's not as heavy as like counter ops or anything like that. No, nah. that's I cool. So. I could dig it. Definitely let's, a little more singing leaning, but it's dope. Let's jam uh, "Panic and Pers Persuasion," then we'll uh, we'll dive back in. When you guys aren't working on music, uh, what's just like some odd hobbies that you have? Josh, what are you into? <laughs> a lot. Um, um, <laughs> snowboarding in the winter. Uh, uh, um, that's not so odd, just, but just a uh, bunch of like odd stuff. Um, I hang out with. Um, I don't know how to spell persuasion. Oh man, I'm really baked right now. Um, I hang out with. <laughs> like, uh, Excellent. Yeah, I hang out with like I, I occasionally uh, skateboarding or longboarding. Actually, um, traveling a lot with. The, well, now my fiance. What do you guys travel to besides besides Brazil? Uh, we just actually came back from uh, DR. Dominic we just came back from the Dominican Republic. How was that? It was really cool. I got engaged over there. Oh, you got engaged? Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that is yeah, awesome. You got, you got engaged like less than two weeks ago. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, 
Um, yeah, just uh, we we just like going up and down the eastern seaboard, just kind of like throwing a dart at a map and just seeing what we could put together and just spend a weekend somewhere. You really did that though. You just threw you just threw a dart at a map and just went there. Uh, no, I wouldn't do that. Like, I, I really do I wish would, I could do I that. Do I, that. Have I, I have uh, I have some commitment issues with uh, with, with traveling because of because uh, of just the music thing. I got you. How, who who made you want to pick up a microphone and be a vocalist, Dylan? Like, what artist uh, when you were younger? Like, influences? I guess. Let's say, let's say like, early high school days, you're in the car uh-huh. driving around, screaming and singing at the top of your lungs to these artists. Um, Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Um, probably when I, I first heard... Uh, Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, um, Craig Mabbitt and Escape the Fate, in the early days at least. Um, and then like streaming stuff, I really like like Randy from like Lamb of God and like uh, like all those scene cores like like Devil Wears Prada asking Alexandria back in like 2000 and like 11, 12 or whatever. So I was kind of all over the board with it and then I, I just used to collect albums and stuff and I had like a pretty dope like stereo system and i just used to practice in my basement like all the time it started out to be like fun but then like i felt like i was actually getting like pretty good at it and then like it kind of just like went from there and then i just like really got into it and i actually started like caring about like really trying to like become a vocalist hell yeah uh are you guys still friends with will do you speak to him often yeah was was that kind of a weird way it ended a week ago bro I was just at his house. Oh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, he's the homie, man. We're still good friends with him. That's awesome. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's usually a vibe when we catch him at his um, at his place and just hang out, partying, yeah, just, hang out. just play video games, before. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, he's the man, dude. I mean, they just put out their new record. It's awesome, and he's killing it. But, yeah, when he's not, he's really busy with touring, so, like, a lot of us, like, a lot of his friends back from Jersey don't, see him for like a few months at a time so usually when he's back for a few weeks or a month or or however long we try to hang out with him at least like once or twice before he goes back out there or he's like in the studio or whatever that is very cool uh i do want to play this song as well but before i do i want to do some trivia with you guys we mentioned the hot sauce hopefully someone brought some hot sauce we're like Dude, I, crickets. I, I, I could not crickets find i couldn't find any of my house. <laughs> it's all good. Don't worry about it. But you get to pick the trivia. What movie, and you have to agree on one between the two of you guys where I can ask one question on one, one question on the other. What movie or TV show do you know the most about? doesn't have to be your favorite, but you've seen it so many times where if I ask you something on either a movie or a TV show, you will not get stumped. Oh, fuck, man. I, I think I got this. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, tell it. Well, we have to agree on one, one Josh. I, I know it already. Come on, we all know what it is. Like we can, we. I, I quote it all the time in our group chat. What gangster movie? That's Goodfellas? the only hit. Yes, Goodfellas. Ugh, Goodfellas no, trivia. If no, he, I mean, if, 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 he remember, knows, if he thinks he knows, if he thinks he knows a lot, well, we'll find out here oh. in a second. This one's called uh, "Victorious When the Devil Failed." I love how you guys are always so sharply dressed. How did that kind of come about as part of your presentation when you guys are performing? Um, actually, every girl uh, loves a sharp dressed man. Zizi Top. I mean, there you go. <laughs> like that. Every girl loves a sharp dressed um, man. Honestly, we just like those bands that like do like these very theatrical, like grandiose kind of things. And I feel like just image wise, I feel like it's a good way to like stand out and like kind of have like our own identity like we do like the red and the black so we kind of like a bit like more color coded now it just feels like more like uniformed and i feel like in some of the some of the music videos that we were doing during that time uh it just felt like right for the videos and stuff like like seeking somewhere felt like a big theatrical kind of like rock my chemical romance kind of vibe so we were like, let's like go all in on that. And then it kind of just like went from there and we were just like, let's like make this our thing. I think it's cool. It does kind of make it stand out a little bit. So it, it works. It works in its in its own mysterious way. Perfectly. Yeah. Goodfellas trivia. Here we go. Oh, Josh, you better 
What was Henry's first major criminal act that he does in the movie? Oh, he was, um, he was, uh, he was selling, he wasn't cigarettes. selling cigarettes. Selling cigarettes. Yeah. Is, that is not correct. There's something more, more criminal than that. More? Like when he was an adult? Oh, uh. Well, was it the time was, uh, that he got he, he, up with uh, wait, the rest of the cars? He kitchen. did blow up the cars! <laughs> that is correct. Well done. All right, boys, you were not able to be stumped, so now I must do the hot sauce. Pick a number one through 15. Seven. Um, I'm going to go nine. One, two. We'll go with eight so in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's a bad one. It's Death Valley <laughs> Ghost Pepper. So I'm going to be shit. I'm gonna be suffering oh, right God. here. Um, if, someone, if someone had never heard your guys' music before, and they're really interested, and it can't be a song we've already played. What song are you put on the headphones when you hand it to them? Atrophy or Shadow Walker, actually. Yeah, Atrophy or Shadow Walker. I was jamming Shadow Walker earlier today, so I think we should play that one. Sick. That one is stellar. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna consume some of this, play a little bit of Shadow Walker, which I think could be one of my favorites in your guys' whole catalog. It's just awesome. Yeah. And I love Thanks. bonus points with all the fire in the back of the video, too. I love, yeah, I love some fire. How's <laughs> <laughs> all are you guys production? Ricky Armolina. Well, we kind of now we're for for everything though, like even some of the older we, stuff. Oh, oh no, um, uh, Eric no. DiCarlo did all our our visual production. Okay, okay. Oh no, are yeah, you he, about audio he, or video. Well, really both. I know you had mentioned Ricky, but I didn't know if Ricky did every single song. I don't know. I just thought it was so, a couple of singles or something. So with our current stuff, like that we're doing right now, like unreleased stuff. Ricky does the production end, and then he has um, his drummer in Hawk. He's mixing. And then we have orchestral arrangements being done by JD, who uh, did uh, stuff on the stuff on the new Motionless and White record. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, for video, we've done Eric DiCarlo. Um, and we've worked with Christian Lawrence, uh, James Perry, um this girl uh mckenzie um yeah so i mean we've we've kind of gone all over the board i think we're gonna be trying to do like some more different stuff branch out a little more on our newer stuff coming up just so like it's not super samey looking or sounding so yeah do you have some ideas in mind or just you're still talking about it and that's not even worth sharing right now yeah uh, we're, we're, we're I mean, just... for videos we're still like we have a couple of people in mind. I just don't want to fuck it. I just don't want to spoil it yet. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to put the bad juju in the air. I get it. Yeah, exactly. If 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 hypothetically you guys just played in front of a hundred thousand people, as far back as you can be, just a sea, a mob of people, and tonight's the night of all nights. We're partying hard. We got the liquor. We got the booze. All that stuff. Blah blah blah. Who's the last man standing? You. Probably me. <laughs> yeah, no, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan would be la would be last man standing on this. I'll be one. the last man standing and the last man waking up. Fair so, enough. I like it. It's a double edged sword. <laughs> is there is there a place that you guys have circled on your world map that you that you're targeting as far as playing a show more than any other country? Download. Yeah, Germany would be crazy. Germany or UK, like you need those those festivals. Yeah. Like, Everyone who's watching this that has seen Lamb of God play uh, play download, and if yeah, you pick up a guitar, that's like yeah, that's your dream of play. That, that's yeah. the dream crowd. Or Vak or Vakin. If it was Germany, Vakin download or Vakin, and if it was UK, yeah. fucking uh, Royal Albert Hall, that venue. Oh my god, that'd be insane. You or you know it'd be nuts. You know it'd be nuts. Fucking Wembley, dude. <laughs> that would be insane. The Wembley Stadium, yeah. Madness. Red Rocks. <laughs> OD. But yeah, probably Germany for me. What do you guys have coming up the rest of the year, or maybe even early in 2023 that you're allowed to tell us about? I know sometimes some stuff is like safe for certain, you know, 
posting big posts promoting um we're about we're to announce. a big show tomorrow and we have a tour coming up a small tour small run that's for, yeah, a little, that's a for little holiday a little holiday run before christmas <laughs> hometown crowd like if you if you live in the east coast and you you want to see like like a movement happening like it's i i, I love playing hometown i i love yeah. sharing we always make it like experience. a big thing it's it, it may I I've never felt so welcomed. So yeah, yeah. and then um in twenty twenty three yeah. there's gonna be new music for sure. It's already in the works. We already have a song being mixed currently. Don't know when it's gonna come out yet, but it's gonna be sick. So twenty twenty three new music. Awesome. Probably not too late into the year. Is there is there a particular feature that you guys have always wanted on a song? And maybe it's very doable. It just hasn't worked out due to like timing reasons. <laughs> so like. Could it just be anybody or like yeah, sure. someone? Just say that this artist will waive their fee. Damn. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a vocalist. Of... Maybe you want to guest solo or something on the Dude, song. Dude, if it, well, if it was fucking, if it was like guitar, I'd probably want someone like nuts, like Tim Henson or something from Polyphia. Yeah. Um, and if it was a vocalist, <sighs> Man, <laughs> there's so many. Oh, um, dude, I don't know if I could get Gerard Way on a song now. It'd be fucking insane. <laughs> that would be cool. Be that would be cool. How does? And he has a really unique voice, and I think it'd be fucking. I, th I just think it'd be really cool because I feel like a lot of metalcore bands they get like you know like another metalcore vocalist, and it's dope. But it like kind of it feels like a little blended together, and it doesn't feel like a crazy standout feature. Right. A lot of the time, not all the time. But like sometimes, so like I would want someone with just like a crazy unique voice, or that he does a little acting on the side. Can't say for what, but that's just that's just cool, man. How long have you been doing acting? No, I wouldn't call myself an actor by any means, but I, I definitely like love film and stuff and movies. So like, um, sometimes just like some homies or whatever, they'll like if they if they need help on like a music video. I just like really like visual stuff. I'm not like great at it or anything, but like, I just like like everything that goes into it and my homies were like oh we need someone for like a male lead in the music video and i was like got i got you, you. Fit. no like so, no like shakespeare reenacting or or no i'm not i'm not like <laughs> i'm not like an actor actor for sure <laughs> put some audio over it so you can't hear my bad acting <laughs> what's <laughs> uh you did mention <laughs> earlier that you guys that you guys every now and then do play uh, do you play uh, video games? What What would you say are like some of the best video games ever made? Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. God, dude, that game just just everything you ever want from a single player. I really like the RPG stuff. I really loved Fallout Three growing up. Yeah. Borderlands, um, the Elder Scrolls games. Skyrim. I just like RPGs. You get the most money. You get the most bang for your buck out of that. Hundreds of hours, opinion. hundreds Actually, of hours. Yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't much of like a, what? like a uh, multiplayer guy because there's some people who are, who just have no life and are just really fucking good at video games. So it's just like I'm just getting my ass kicked in multiplayer. I'm just trying to like play and have a good time. So I kind of like the games with like better storylines and stuff, you know? Hell yeah! So, uh, I I would say. I, I would say Legend of Zelda. I'm sorry, I gotta change my answer to that one. Oh uh, yeah, he's in there. Yeah. Like Super Nintendo or Nintendo or just the series? And the entire series, the entire storyline. They've managed to like just one up themselves and continue on the story and the lore is so deep and rich. Ah. Yeah. He's a nerd for that shit. I am. Uh, I, I love it. It is it is deep and rich. Uh Sorry if you guys are just tuning back in. We had a little bit of a crash error on, on Streamlabs. It doesn't happen very often, but it, unfortunately it did happen. But a minute later, we're back. No worries. Uh, do you guys have any weird phobias or stuff you won't eat? Just your, you hate this food. You, you're afraid of the dark. Anything anything crazy like that? Um, I watch a lot of horror movies. So sometimes, like, I'm not afraid of the dark. Uh, I'm afraid of what's going to kill me in the dark. <laughs> so the dark is only scary to me i have to see something pretty absolutely twisted for for me to be like uncomfortable in, in the dark because my apartment's always dark so i don't i don't really have a problem with it too much but other than that i'm definitely afraid of heights that's like my biggest fear 100 
I don't like being high up on anything. <laughs> and uh, as far as food, I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty picky with vegetables. Like, honestly, a lot of them I won't eat. <laughs> I like vegetables. I don't Depends, though. Depends which one. Hey, I'm, I'm just going to get this conversation started. Cheese. I just don't do cheese. Like, like I just don't Dude. like beans. Like, I, I have you to. Eat cheese. Will not eat All them. cheeses of any kind? Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I just, uh, no, no, no. If it touches his food, he's throwing it out. Yeah, exactly. My whole plate goes. Is it a, a lactose thing, or is it just no, something to do no, with cheese? Just, I just no. don't. I yeah, wish it was a lactose. Cheese. Like, it makes me, like, it, like, just the thought of it makes, okay. makes me sick. He gets, he gets bullied for it, dude. Interesting. He gets so bullied. Sidelines here. Um, you don't like Gouda? No. There's no cheese I like. It's Gouda cheese, though. <laughs> dude, it doesn't matter how, how hard justify yeah but it's good like it like, yeah, yeah like, it's like I, 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 I get eaten alive for it i like i like i, I just <laughs> i just rather tell i just rather tell but yeah i'm lactose intolerant just just to make the conversation easier that's what he does when we go on tour like when we're trying to get like when we're trying to get like a guarantee and like our shit together <laughs> and like like you know the, yeah, the rider like catering or whatever and he just yeah, goes like i like, can't eat cheese i get really really sick cheese. that's the one thing i'll put in i'll just put lactose intolerance so like it throws like cheese off the menu most and most promoters who love giving you pizza they're just like oh shit what do we do and yeah, then, so yeah, then, we used to complain yeah. about it, but then he was like, "Dude, I got us wings and burgers." <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. So they make, got to make them give you like it hot was, dogs or something instead. Because like, because I'm doing, all, because I'm doing a lot of booking and stuff. So I'm the first one in the email. I was like, "No," when they give you the thing, it's like, "Oh, what do you want to eat uh, for as part of your rider?" I'm like, "No, fucking cheese." <laughs> yeah. So we've had to learn to live with that. <laughs> Fellas, I got time for one more final song. What's a song that's not in your set that you kind of just personally miss playing? I want to jam that one. Um, uh, Josh, I'll let you pick. Um, that's not in our set. Wretched. Damn, bro. Throwback. Yeah. Wretched would be on what, like 2016 EP? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a 16 EP. I think it's uh, from Dreamwalker. No. Yeah, Dreamwalker. I think that's it's last track on Dreamwalker. Yeah, that's an old one, bro. Yeah, I missed that song. I gotta go oh, way back to find it, too. Way back! Wretched, there it is. Here we go. I'm rereading, I'm rereading chat, and they're saying that right before we crashed, Herman Lee was gonna raid me. 800 people, and we crashed, so he couldn't find us to do the raid. That sucks. That's... Fuck. Dang, that sucks. That is a bummer. Dragon Force, yeah, that's what that's what Chad's saying right now. That would have been insane. That would have easily been the most people ever ever in here. But damn, oh, man, that's well, just shit timing. It's all good. No worries. Uh, this we are about out of time. But uh, what do you guys have lined up the rest of the day? What? Sorry, what? We're, we're about out of time. But what do you guys have planned uh, the rest of the day? Uh, I'm thinking about actually. My brother is running the. They're like running the guitar, uh, the set right now. Uh, our two guitar players, and I was thinking about going over there just like to hang out and shit while they're doing that. And then uh, I also need him to. Uh, he because our guitar player does a lot of our production stuff. So like I'm gonna try to get him to format a vocal cover that I just did um, to like be able to like fit perfectly on every platform that I'm trying to post it on. So. Uh, I'm probably gonna go and do that. So more more band shit for me probably. Hell yeah. Hustle never stops. Never stops. Josh, Josh you're, is probably you're, just gonna be stoned. You're <laughs> muted though. You're mute you're muted, Josh. I'm gonna go jam the set actually. Um uh and uh yeah, you know what they say about a local band. Uh the world could be ending and God could come down for judgment day and you'll ask him, but can you wait a second? I got some local band shit to get done. Yep. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that rule right there. Josh Dillon, I appreciate you boys. This is a lot of fun, man. Thank Monument so much, of man. a memory, everybody. Thanks, please support them. They're awesome. If you guys are able to please come to the West Coast, maybe a little California run sooner or later, please let me know. I would absolutely be there. Yo, that yeah, fest bro, you, do real quick, that fest that you did looked absolutely insane. So It was 103 degrees, and it was an outside fest, so we got beat up. But uh, it was a lot of fun, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you. We'll make it out there sooner or later. Hopefully we can do it again, and then you guys can be involved. Let's fucking do it. Hell, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, monument of a memory! Give me a hell, yeah! Thank you.
Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.